Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today we are going to be cleaning the grout in my mudroom slash laundry room. We'll get this all cleared out here. I have three kids so we always have tons of shoes and a baby on the way. And then my husband also has a reselling business. If you want any behind the scenes of that or what I do outside of making cleaning videos to help women turn their passions into profits, make sure you hit me up there on Instagram. There's also a freebie in the description box. Make sure you sign up for that newsletter. But this is what we're gonna be cleaning with here today. We're gonna be using this spray lime away. You know I like to keep things simple and easy. I'm just gonna get a sponge here. I got some gloves and then I'm gonna fill this with warm water and then when we're all done, I'll mop everything away. Now I made a previous video right here which I compared three different ways to clean your grout and I show you the best, most effective way. It's amazing so I want you to check that out as well. I will have that linked in the description box. And then if you wanna see how I use that method cleaning my entire kitchen grout, that one right here is also linked in the description box, but let me just show you something super, super quick here. I wanna give you a before and after of that method. Let me get down here. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Can you guys see the difference there? This is what the grout looked like before when I used, um, and this is what it looked like after I used the method that worked the best. But now let me show you the grout in our mud room here. I'm gonna put some tennis shoes on here in a second. It's really disgusting. Look at, we bought this house about two years ago and the last thing on my mind is getting down to my hands and knees and scrubbing grout, running a business, working full time. But today, I'm doing it with you and we're excited. Are you excited? If you are, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed for weekly cleaning and organizing motivation. And let's get to work, my friend. So I wanna ventilate it pretty good in here because this is such a small space. So I got this window open and then I got two of my kiddos outside with that open as well. And it's actually finally getting nice here in Wisconsin so I'll probably open uh, that third window as well. <laughs> Always fun going on in here. Okay, let me go ahead and show you. And I'm not gonna go into this storage closet thing here but this is what I'm gonna do. I wanna show you here in real time before I speed it up. We're just gonna spray like so, and like so. And I really wanna get it in there. I'm not gonna leave it like on for 10 minutes or anything by that, um, like that, like any sort of time frame. <laughs> um, because by the time I get to the back end of this, it will have sat on there probably for a good 10, 15 minutes or so. But again, this is, let me just show you one more time. This is the Lima Way, it's the Turbo Foam. I just got it at my local, uh, my local grocery store. And now what I now that I'm thinking about it, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my sponge again. I just got this at the Dollar Tree. Maybe I don't have to use as much, and then I can kind of go like this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. So I can save some of the product, and this will be easier for cleanup. Cleanup's the hardest part when you're doing anything like this. Um, now, as far as cleaning the grout, because I've got a lot of questions on my other video about this, this is something that I would do like every three years because once you get it clean and then you maintain it, it's pretty easy. And you can do this in your shower or your kitchen. You just wanna make sure that you clean it up really, really well when you're done. So there's no sort of residue, especially if it's gonna be on your kitchen counters or something like that. All right, let's get it going.
Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean half of this up and then I'll show you in slow-mo how it wipes away, especially in this spot right here because this is really, I think, the darkest spot. Sorry about my kids there um, in the garage. Now to spray all this, it probably only took me about 10 minutes. If you did not wanna get down that low, I do have a spray mop that I use. You probably could've used that as well. When we go through and clean everything up, I'm just gonna shut this here quickly. My kids are in the garage. When I go through and clean everything up the second time, I will show you that mop that I use that I absolutely love. Okay, you can see the water is already really brown. So I, it depends on how long you wanna leave this. I would suggest leaving on a little bit longer, but let me just show you some of the magic here. And this is really cheap, like I mentioned, it's from the Dollar Tree. This is not super scrubby, but I am just kind of going along on each side. Let's do, let's do this strip right here and see what happens. Get down there close. Try to get my shadow out of the way. You see? On the sponge there. Now let me flip it around. And just a little light scrubbing. All right. You see the difference on there? It's hard when it's wet, so I'm also gonna show you when it's dry. Let me show you a spot that I have not gone over so you can see the contrast while it's wet. So we have that one right there. And then, you guys see that? <laughs> I have been wiped that one away. This one, I did. No wipe. Wipe. So let me get the rest of this cleaned up and dried so I can really show you the contrast, the before and the after. Look at how dirty that is, gross. Now the other method that I used, I didn't put any elbow grease into it at all. I didn't even get on my hands and knees. I just bent over to use that particular product to put it in the crack. So I want you to make sure that you check out that video. But let's go ahead and clean up this mud room in here so we can totally see what we are working with. Okay, it is looking a lot better. Now, I will say, if you want even better results, I would leave the product on longer. I would rate this as number two when it comes to cleaning your route. My favorite option, which, um, check out that video again, but here it does look a ton better. Do you guys remember how black it was? So this is looking a ton better. Now there's definitely, I mean, it does not look like brand new, okay? <laughs> Would that be nice? 
Yes. Let me show you the mop that I used here. This one, I'm gonna go on the light. It's kinda dark here in the mud room, which is a little deceiving because there's no natural light. I just have this Libman. I believe I have it linked in my description box, but I absolutely love this mop. And then in here, I just put a little vinegar and warm water just to keep it super, super simple. So I have a whole playlist of other how to clean and organize with me. I have a whole ton of product review videos as well where I review, I think about 20 different products. So make sure you check those out in the description box as well. Let me know if you ever tried Lime Away for cleaning grout. Um, it is looking good. There, see it's drying a little bit better. <laughs> there, that is that is good right there. The lighting in here is not great. It's very kind of dark and um, sort of dingy already with the lamp that we have, which is, I don't know if I can show you something like that. Yep. <laughs> That was uh, probably original to the house here, but look at it is looking a lot better. Let me see if I can give you a, another comparison of where we didn't clean, which was in this closet. Okay, you see that? Right there, I did not clean. So, there we go. All right, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.